Hi everyone. Welcome to our Monday meditation today. I thought I'd bring us outside. And um, so I'll wait just a couple seconds for people to arrive. Go ahead and get comfortable in a nice spot. So I'm really looking forward to being with you all today. Um, wondering kind of how everyone's doing and uh, after another week of what we're all in together. Hi Arif, thanks so much for joining again. Um, yeah, and so I know we had a big holiday for a lot of Americans this Sunday, it was Easter Sunday and also uh, celebrated by the Orthodox as well. So kind of nice that that was, well, I found it nice that that was falling, that those two groups were celebrating at the same time, which is not that typical. Um, yeah, so as a part of um, honoring that transition, which is really about um, being renewed and new life, after death. Um, I wanted our meditation today to have some of those qualities and one of the things that kept coming up for me this morning when I was thinking about you all was really um, how important and significant uh, compassion is. So compassion both on ourselves and on others and that compassion is really where healing begins, where understanding others begins. And so um, I also wanted to incorporate that for us this morning. So go ahead and just get comfortable where you're sitting. And let's take a couple deep breaths together. Inhale. And exhale. Inhaling through the nose, and exhaling through the mouth. And as you tune into your body, Go ahead and notice where you might be holding any tension. And if you're aware of that and can access it, if it feels right to you, go ahead and just uh, take one of your hands and place it on any area of tension, perhaps your belly, perhaps your heart in your head and your mind. And allow your hand to radiate a feeling of compassion upon yourself. So in that, you may find an area that might be a little tender today. An area where perhaps you feel some loss. Or maybe it's an area of loneliness, perhaps it may also be something that you're feeling that might be related to shame. And if you're not sure where you're feeling this in your body or if it's residing in your body, Go ahead and just imagine yourself in a cone of light that's filled with compassion. Or 
this compassion is surrounding you, beaming down upon you. And as you breathe, allow your body or your heart or your mind to just relax. And notice how this attitude of compassion may just relax you a little bit, might change the sensation in your body. And just breathe into it, noting how it's made you feel. in compassion, we align with ourselves, and in turn we align with others, we're able to remain in our core, unshaken, and we're able to hear, to give and receive. And so if you haven't already, really tune in to an area of need that you have where you could use some compassion. Perhaps it's a choice that you've made that may feel unpopular to others. Perhaps it's something that you wish you hadn't done or said, a regret of some sort. Or perhaps it's an interaction that you've had with someone else that you wish had been softer or different in some way. So just tune into that. And allow this compassion that is you, that is actually part of your core nature. Allow that compassion to be placed upon this area of struggle or difficulty, something that's been perhaps weighing on you. And as you feel, as you access compassion, you may actually gain a little insight a little understanding around this thing or incident that you're wanting more compassion around. And let your heart continue to soak in that compassion, align with your compassionate heart and give to yourself to the exact area where you're in need. And if it feels right to you, your compassion may want to even validate that you understand the choices that you've made, that it makes sense.
and really just give to that part of you, that part of you that needs some love and some tenderness today, some care, some compassion, some understanding. And in compassion, we find new life, new perspective, new ways to give, to be thoughtful, to love in a personal way. In compassion, we discover and we're made new. And in your mind's eye, go ahead and really envision yourself sitting in this cone of compassion, kind of like a teepee. Perhaps you just feel it. Perhaps you see the compassion as a light of some sort, this cone of light. Perhaps you feel it on your skin, feel it in your body, or just sense it relaxing you. Really simply just allowing yourself to be and to truly receive the compassion that you do have for yourself. Breathe in it, inhaling the compassion, letting it fill your lungs letting it touch upon your heart and teach you about its tenderness. And tune in to what perhaps feels new in you now after the compassion has touched a part of you that needs some healing that needs some love. And if it feels right to you, you can even ask this part that we're showering in compassion You could ask it specifically, what would it like to replace as something new? What would this new self be? upon this area that's needed some compassion and tenderness? Is there perhaps a new attitude, a new state of mind or heart that you can hold? And the newness perhaps may just be really feeling compassion for this part that's been a little tucked away or pushed away or rejected. This part that's likely being judged, what can you now give it that's new?
And if you received something, if you feel that something came to you around what can be new, just take a minute to really soak in that, to give thanks for receiving what the antidote could be or the helpful healing agent could be. And again, maybe it's just perfect compassion, but maybe it's more nuanced than that. And really soak in it. Allow this compassion or form of compassionate quality, if it's love, if it's peace. Let it really soak in. Let it really renew you. Allow yourself to receive. As we get ready to enter back into the space where we're sitting, we'll take another moment to just give thanks to this teepee of light, to this sanctuary that you've been in. And if it feels right to you to ask, that perhaps this cone of light actually resides with you throughout the day, that you feel it and know it tonight as you're preparing for sleep. And go ahead and do that. Really just acknowledging the gratitude to have time with oneself to have an attitude of compassion upon yourself in many aspects of life. To also give in this way to yourself as you go throughout your day and your week. That you really remember this feeling of compassion, how significant it is, how healing it is. And to know and to remember and be reminded that when you need it, the compassion is right there for you. And just breathe it in. also in that knowing that you have access to be compassionate to yourself in any moment, that we also might bestow the same on others, whether it's members of our family right now, people who were with in our homes, in quarantine, people who we're on the phone with, people who are serving right now in our country, the people who are putting their lives actually at some sort of risk for the rest of us. Really giving in compassion to all these groups of servants Really also understanding that so many others are having struggles. And so as we feel compassion on ourselves and our own struggles, that we might also really give in generosity to others in 
letting loose a little, letting go of judgments or assumptions, and really getting into a heart of compassion that we may look through that lens as we seek to understand others and their choices or their behavior. That really we allow the compassion to shine upon them too. feel almost in this moment how compassion is kind of like the quality of a mother and that we all whether male or female might through our compassion take on a role in a small or large extent of really mothering this planet right now mothering the people mothering the earth mothering what we've been given and really shining compassion shining love And that in some ways for each of us, as we do this, again, in small or large ways, that we become, to an extent, the mother that everyone needs. Our compassion introduces us to an intimacy of giving, of loving, of paying attention. And that for each one of us, the more we are compassionate on ourselves, the more we change and renew within ourselves, that in turn also we heal this planet. And we become the blessings for the earth. So let us each one today and in this week Hold in our hearts compassion upon ourselves and upon others and upon our planet at large. That we might give in this really simple way. Just tune in again to really receiving this compassion upon yourself. Really allowing it to take root and give you something new today. Breathing it in. remaining in the knowing that you can turn to this compassion at any time. And just go ahead and tune into your body. You may want to wiggle your toes or your hands a little bit. Just tuning back in to being where you are. And as you're ready, you can go ahead and open your eyes.
Thank you, everyone. It's so nice to be with you all and for me too, to just feel like I can give in some way. And um, these experiences certainly bring me peace as well. So thank you for being with me in that. And I look forward to seeing you all again this week. I'm gonna be going live. I'll let you know when that's all happening. And I will see you all next week in our Monday meditation. So blessings to you all that you have a compassion filled week and that you find solace in being able to return to that compassion. Thanks Arif. Bye everyone.